Good morning, good morning ladies. Okay, hope you've had an absolute fabulous week. Hopefully you have also got the lovely sun shining like I have as well. Okay, so today is a little bit about talking about how, um, how you dress affects your confidence. Okay, so it's not the latest fashions if only, <laughs> because I'm a person who used to always love their fashions and everything. And then I very much um, got into the comfort zone, as I want to call it, where I was working from home. So I really need to think of it and things like that. And I really didn't dress how I used to dress. And I had this big wake up call when I went up to York um, to meet my business coach because even with me I still need a business coach with what I do okay but it just plugs me that long and it gave me that realization that the way that I dressed to go and see all the business minds people to hang around with all them and everything else really gave me that boost and it was like it was my old self that really enjoyed um, wearing the clothes that I've started to wear again and it got me really thinking about you guys and how much um, dressing, how you dress affects your confidence. So <clears throat> you wouldn't believe that something so simple can really, really change that confidence of yours. So my example is, you know, when you're not feeling very well and you just go to that nearest comfort zone yeah, and just pull it out the water and go, oh, that'll do for today. That's my nearest thing, that'll do today. Or it may be that you just have that shower and that bath to make you feel a little bit more better. And then you think, oh, I'm just going to stay in my PJs. Well, that's how it affects, isn't it? You, you choose your clothes by how you feel on that day. It gets you really thinking of how to choose those clothes because you can change it around as well. And if you're having a bad day, you're not feeling yourself, go and get some clothes out your wardrobe that pick you up. Because the majority of us around here, and I'm one for it as well, we just pick out the clothes that we feel that we feel like, okay, that's how we're feeling today. Yeah? Like I used to have, um, going through divorce, I used to have, thinking about it, a lot of grey in my, uni in my wardrobe. So having a lot of grey is like, oh, I feel a bit grey today. I'll just put all my grey gear on. But you don't realise, do you? So we always go to our wardrobe feeling, okay, this is what we're feeling today. I'll just pick this out of the wardrobe. Okay, so do a little bit of more practising of, what do you want to feel today? Okay? And how do you want to feel? Okay? Because we can change the way that we dress, the way that we feel. Okay? And when we dress well, we look good, and we automatically feel better. Yeah? And when we feel good, we're more likely to feel good inside and have more energy. Okay? So when you're next in your wardrobe... Get choosing your clothes for the day and have a think about what would you like to feel today. Okay, so, so it's just a little bit of looking at what clothes you want to wear at, what makes it that it boosts you, gives you that confidence and makes you go on. Okay, and you can reverse it as well if you're having a bad day and you feel like, oh, I feel like wearing grey today. Yeah, because you're feeling that bad day, pick something else that'll brighten you up. Like, for instance, I don't know if you can see, but my yellow is very much an uplifting colour. So if you're not feeling quite right, have a look and go, OK, I'm not feeling myself today. Let's get an uplifting colour that'll just uplift me, make me feel really, really good. Make it feel like, oh, I feel like I feel more better. OK. So use your clothing as a confidence, not the latest fashion trends, okay? But wear the clothes that really, really suit you and really get your confidence building, yeah? It doesn't matter if you're not going anywhere and you want to wear a nice dress, okay? 
I can't remember who said it, but I was watching a program the other day and it was about um, a person whose aunt has always had a Sunday best and she always wore this dress on the Sunday best. Unfortunately, this lady had passed away and she didn't get chance to wear this Sunday best because she wasn't very well. But she waited for that Sunday best, but the Sunday best never came round and she never got to wear it. So even if you've got Sunday best clothes, start wearing them if that makes you feel good. And if you're not going anywhere, that's fine. Okay? And it doesn't matter if they wear out or they don't fit you anymore or they get a bit tassy. We can replace them around your clothes. But you might find then later on that you might find something else that you feel more comfortable with in, what really enjoys and what really gets you picking up your confidence. Okay, so have a look and try it tomorrow. Or if you're still in your PJs for today and you're not feeling quite the right and you're having a bit of that bad day, have a look and pick your clothes that will boost you for that day. Have a look at what will give you that confidence for the day. Okay, thanks for listening. If you need any help, post below. If you want to share your photos of what has given you that confidence of what you wore, what's your favourite clothes, please share within the group. Help each other, yeah? And we can inspire each other on what we wear. All right? But feel free to ask any questions if you've got anything or if you're needing a little bit of help. You're definitely not on your own. Bye for now.